Okay, so I'm just wanting to go through another long game, classical, 45 minute, 10 second game. Just to break it down for myself as to where the errors occur. Basically in the previous ones, not the last one because we've warmed up a little bit. But the previous ones before that, I was getting really good positions, I was up material. Um, basically I was winning, came to the sort of end part of the game, then it all went to pot. And it was almost like I was doing it on purpose. And that's how it felt, you know, it felt like, whoa, why did you just give that game up? So I'm wanting to get back into playing the mantra, using the answer process, and um, looking to see if we can get some advantages and keep the advantages. Well, we're getting the advantages, we're just not keeping them. And it's almost like blase mode is kicking in. So I just want to get rid of blase mode, I think, and get cracking. So placing here, so as you can see I've just rambled through all of that to get to this position here. Now this pawn is free, well is it free? Because is he coming here, it's not got 2 on 1 on this pawn, can take the bishop. I don't mind doing my pawns here, so I think I'm just going to take this pawn. And I said I weren't going to use the arrows, but I'm going to use them sparingly. Okay, so they've captured, so the thing is, we can do a reversal and capture with our knight, and then the bishop's on their bishop. So it kind of almost, not forces them to take with the bishop. So I think I'm going to take here, this knight's got no protection on it, so the queen can take. They're moving a bit quick for a long play game, and I, don't, I'm, I might be paying the price, you never know. This might be a set play thing. So I bring the knight down, so we're only plus one, so there's nothing major. I'm actually just going to bring the knight back just to put pressure onto the queen. So in the eyes of the game, we're winning at this stage. So what do we do that we mess it up? Well, we know what we do. I'm going to actually just bring the knight here to attack the queen. It's not got anything protecting it at the moment. This knight's protected by the pawn. Queen's protecting the knight here. So, uh, in terms of the game itself, knight is protecting our queen, so we could look to do something could attack the well not maybe attack the rook but just bring the knight around attacking the queen again and attacking the queen so we can take with the knight here he may not want to exchange he might be one of those that keeps the queen on so I don't want to spend the time chasing the queen around because I might lose my position now my knight is on the rim so that might be the strategy so yeah it's one of those Okay, so we could squeeze up here, but we have to be mindful that the queen can come here. So is there anything? Then he's got the pawn on this side. Then we're sort of playing defense. Then the rook can attack. So it'd be a bit of a waste of time them doing that, but we'll go for it anyway. We're probably going to do exactly what we've just said. Maybe we could ignore it. So it's taken the knight. So oh, he's done it so that he's opened up my pawns. You know, doubling the pawns up. Okay, so we'll grab here. Then grab there. It's moving really quick. It does have like a situation dancing knight. Just push here for now. Might be one of those that leaves it there and then gets a back ranker with his rook down here. Gotta be mindful of that. Yep, so he's down. We come, he can come back up again. What realistically is he looking for? Coming back around again to attack the pawn. Smooth the king up. So 
so this is the moment where yes yeah, so it's gone back up it's coming here but is it doing some sort of whirlwind can this knight come here this knight can come back here this knight can come here to attack our rook simply move here what's this whirlwind let's just push it he's got options but they don't look too deadly oh he's attacking the pawn so we could push the pawn again so it's further advancing it up the board just keep pushing it this knight's doing a lot of work hmm Somebody needs to own the file. <laughs> Let's go for it. I don't think they're going to take, based on the way that they've moved so far now, they must know that owning the file is important. This pawn's got no protection, but I suppose it can defend itself. So it's probably going to bring it to here because then the knight can take. No, it's not, it's not doing it. So, oh, ooh, crikey. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me, that was meant to be arrows. I said I weren't using the arrows, didn't I? Oh dear me, so we capture. So all in the file is Rook's going to come and attack the knight, obviously. It's not attacking the knight, it's attacking the pawn. We can defend by just pushing the pawn up. Is there a fork before we go anywhere? I think we just push the pawn up, don't we? Yeah, keep it simple. Wants to get rid of my knight. So, da, da, da. Could come back, but where am I going? If I come this way, does that look more energetic? Yeah, because then I can come round and attack his knight. Let's go here. So the plus one that we've got, it, yeah, we're going here anyway. Um, plus one that we've got, it might as well be minus because it's doubled. It's highly elevated. Oh my gosh. Where's he go though? Where does he go? Oops. He probably would have been better taking, wouldn't he? Because if he goes here, he goes there. Oh, too clever for me. Hmm. Well, I don't really like that, but I suppose we'll have to take. So he escapes. Ah, I didn't see that. Okay, he's too good with this knight, actually. I do have queries when people are too good with the knights. <laughs> Let's push this here. Then I suppose he blocks down with his pawn, but we'll take the pawn. This rook's got to come for our knight. Oh. Space for our knight. We do have a long time to go, so we're both moving a little bit fast. If I pushed onto him, he just comes around there, so he's got like a two on one. Which is better? Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, but it is all there by itself. So eventually, his rook. Oops, his rook can come here. Do I need to get my rook into the game? If we do that, he he can block down, but the knight can take the pawn. Or we could push this up. I suppose he just blocks it down. Ah, oh, this is the crucial moment of the game. And we are plus one. And where are we plus one on this side? So could we attack? See if we can open up space. Our knight's not got any protection on. 
this moment. See, if I do do that, then he's bringing himself over here. Whereas, fairly happy with him being stuck over here at the minute, aren't I? If I push, he doesn't have to take, he can always just drop, but I suppose we're trying to get some devastation, get the rook into the game. Oh, he's gone on the inside. If we take, he takes, and then we take this pawn with a check on his king. With the rook. So that's a plus two. But it doesn't mean anything until we can do something. The knight can attack here. Then his rook comes back and defends, but it's kind of half owning the file then. That's not what we want. But then we could come here and attack his king. But then his king comes and attacks the knight. His rook's defending his knight. No, that's one of those where I'm allowing them to escape, isn't it? Could push. Could push. Now it's defending. And depending what he does next, maybe no, he can't do that. Does something. What's this rook? Because if we push there, this is the ideal position for me. If we push here and say he does like a non move, like there. Then the knight can come here to attack his knight. If his rook then comes across, the pawn can then push onto the knight. But something's telling me something is not going to work out the way we want it to work. Uh, the knight can't take because we've got the rook on him. So I'm actually going to push. King's moved off the line, so that doesn't work anymore. So now he's got a 2 on 1 on the pawn. Wow, why didn't I see that? That's. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, no. So I've lost the pawn. Oh, how simple is that? He's just pushed the king back, taken his pressure off, and now he's got a 2 on 1. I can't push this, and then it just takes. Oh, scandalous. Okay, so let me think. So if we push up, his rook takes. So his rook's going to be in this position. <sighs> Can't even go there because his knight will just take. Oh, I messed it up. I thought I was flying. Pawn for a pawn type thing, if I bring my rook here. If the knight takes. Hmm, I don't have to take. Because if I take, then his rook takes and he's defending the pawn. One, two, three, four. With plus two, so we shouldn't really be too greedy, should we? We always say this. Knight could come here to attack his pawn, but then obviously his knight's defending this pawn. But if his knight moves, then our rook can come to this side here, attacking the pawn. Mm, there might be gold in there. There might be gold in there. So probably best not moving the knight just yet, because the rook... We'll probably just end up taking rather than the knight. Hmm. So maybe a small pawn push like this. Knight takes. In fact, we could afford to take down the take the knight. Knight takes. Knight takes. Rook takes. He's got open space to attack our pawns down the bottom. I don't think that's a wise move, you know. Then I'm moving away from these pawns here. My advantage. 
the poor majority are moving away from we don't want that really do we don't think there's a check you made to simple as this rook here knight takes knight takes rook takes would I get away with rook takes here rook takes there his rook could come down put a check on our king we can push up Then he attacks the bottom pawn. We put a check on his king. His king drops somewhere. Hmm. Then we lose this pawn, don't we? But we do have this pawn here. So we come across, protect this one. He takes this one. We're not going to push because he'll just push past. So we push here. His king's there ready to block though. That's all a bit too much. That's a bit too much. Come on. Come on, come on. Plus two. I must be able to make something of it. What can my rook do? It's got to be a rook show, hasn't it? Can't believe I gave that up. Damn, I didn't spot that. Push. Defending. Pawn takes. Knight takes. So that gets rid of his pawn in that situation. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Nice move, nice move by my opponent with the king. Crikey. So he does take, so let's get rid of any potential. Okay, so now options we have. Rook taking, looking to come here to take the rook, but don't know if that's gonna happen. And I'm just wary of this knight. He can't check my king, so I'm actually just going to take the pawn with the potential threat of this but I think he'll move his rook attack maybe well if he moves it there to attack the knight we'll, we'll get the rook for free so we're not getting it for free because his king is still close but we now do have a nice passer on both sides so I think we'll just go here and take his rook off is there anything else before we do that I'm trying to get it for free but my knight doesn't have a check on his king so I'll just take the rook off the board doesn't mean I've won anything just I've got more pawns so he's gonna have to think a lot more knights defending at the minute so shall we get our king here see if we can get close to his pawn I don't think his knight can put a check on our king king's protecting this pawn as well so he's chasing us down so we might as well push this pawn give them something to think about now he's defending this square here as well which is a good shot okay let's just um gotta be careful of forks i don't i need not move so fast now I've got 37 minutes i can chill crikey i must have mentioned it before where I had plenty of time on my clock in an over the board game and my opponent was running down a time like anything so they had like what a minute or something so they were moving fast so I was moving fast as well and I ended up stalemating which is not the way to go he's being very shifty can he put a check on my king 37 minutes 
be coming round. I can't put a check on my king. It's not going to go there. If I push, just push. And has it gone back to the same position? Can he put a check on my king? No, no. But he can block the pawn. That's probably what he's going. Oh, and they've resigned. Ah. <sighs> A little bit of thought and that's improved my performance my self performance already I'm really quite yeah pleased with that yeah I think the other games I've just been blase in and not really focused like I've said on actually using the system that we're promoting for ourselves and yeah that felt really quite nice um, yeah, keeping the advantage as best possible. That was the key thing. I don't think there's any major things in there to actually analyse. Um, feel fairly comfortable with that. Yeah, happy.